Hey guys, it's the Bear, and this is Skyopolis 4. Hope everyone is well, having a utterly amazing day. Let's go ahead and uh, jump right back into this pretty cool pack. And uh, in between episodes, went ahead and uh, did a lot of cleaning up. So went ahead and broke down our crusher, our metal press, and our squeezer. We don't actually need them at all anymore. If we actually run over here, I guess. Let's go ahead and uh, check this out. I have a fresh new set of electrodes in here. Then I have another nine in here. A bunch more of uh, hop graphite. I basically just broke down all of our uh coke out into uh hop so we're good there and i uh, made ourselves a bunch of machine frames all that jazz this thing's going to be only making machine frames pretty much for the rest of the pack and uh, i'm not really worried about the electrodes anymore because uh the ones i had in there they're only down to 23 percent and i threw them into the void started with a fresh set because i just put them in here with four and make 100 percent ones so much better way of doing it and i can even enchant those ones with uh unbreaking right so i can make those ones even go further and uh, I'll be surprised if I go through a single set for the pack. So I guess uh, that's one thing. Also went ahead, I guess, and broke down our pump jack and our distillation tower. Because we don't need those anymore. We're down to our last 600 buckets of oil, though. So we're going to have to switch to a new power source soon. So that's a thing. I just let the pump jack kind of buffer it all. And uh, it moves faster than the diesel converted anyway. So that is a thing. And then I guess down here, the last thing I did was go ahead and uh, get all our bees into different apiaries. So I have four of them set up down here. This one here is set up just with the wither roses and it has a netherite and the wither bee. They're the only ones that can kind of go on those flowers and not take damage. So I have that. Each one of these two have a emerald storage upgrade in them. So it's uh, quite big, right? So it makes it quite a bit bigger. <laughs> makes it so gonna hold a lot of things, which is nice. But you see these are totally backed up. So. These are pretty insane, and uh, yeah, just totally backed up. I haven't really sorted out which bees I wanted here either. Like this one over here, I have like really random things, like uh, the thermal bees, and I have an in bar. Then I have a kitten bee. There's a kitten bee right there, being a kitten. Look at it. Look, it's a little little kitten butt. Look at that. And uh, that one needs a bed. You have to put a bed in there. But anyway, I thought that was funny. But uh, yeah, I haven't sorted out exactly which bees we're going to use to, I guess, process. Also, this is the other one I have an actual, um, I guess, breeder on. Um, is that what it's called? Yeah, apiary breeder. Yeah, I haven't actually bred any more bees, but I guess that uh, is something we have. So we just have the one because we only need one. And outside of that, oh, some of my bees died on me. Yeah, some of them died. I didn't realize when you're like in that dimension and they sting you, if you catch them afterwards, they're just going to die. I, I, did, I did not know that. Some people left that in the last comments that some of my bees are going to probably die. And they did. So anyway, <laughs> that's the thing. So you don't want them angry, basically, the way I was doing it. You probably want to fly around a little more safely when you catch them. So you make sure they don't sting you so you can actually get them. So that is uh, pretty much everything. What we're going to do, though, is go ahead and grab this. This here, we need this netherite. I've been processing some of the combs. I'm also put some of the diamonds in the system, too, because uh, that is nice. But you can see we got some uh, more nether stars. So we're good there. Awesome. In time, I'll operate those apiaries, but that isn't my first problem. My first problem is actually processing. So... What we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, work on the quest line, I guess, for the um, resourceful bees. So we have to make this centrifuge just so we can get these quests unlocked. Then we're gonna go ahead and make this uh, honey generator, see if we get a little bit of power out of it. Then we get to the centrifuge, which says it can process the combs. And this one here does it even better. Six combs at once, but it can also do the entire blocks of combs, right? So that should be pretty awesome. And uh, hopefully it's fast enough to process everything, right? So anyway. Go ahead and hunt down the uh, centrifuge. So it's this puppy here. This is just a manual version. You really don't want to use this thing, trust me. So I will not <laughs> be using this at all. It is uh, slow as dirt. I guess it's fine if it's the only thing you have, but that is not the only thing we have. Oh, uh, we also need a regular centrifuge, but we're going to craft it here, I think, anyway, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and grab one of them. That's cool. Go ahead and drop that off. Then we need the centrifuge controller. Uh, does it want us to make all 36 blocks for this? Because I think we only need... What, one per three to go to the lead? But uh, does this quest actually demand all 36? It does. So we have to make all 36 of them. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll have to have, what is that? I don't know what that is. We'll just make like 12 of them. There we go. Go ahead and grab 36 of these, right? So four, five, 36. Then one is actually used for the controller. So we need a comparator. Let's do that. And I think we have everything else. Let's go ahead and grab that. Awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, hunt down. Where did the rest of my casings go, actually? Wait, did I actually get the quest there? Uh, I think I did, but I want to make sure. Did that actually give me the quest? <laughs> yes, it did. Okay, 
Cool. We've got some uh, eggs here. Let's see which ones we actually get. Ice bee and another wither bee. That's actually nice, but uh, we'll drop that off right now. Then we're going to have to go ahead and actually make the elite version and uh, get that one done. So the elite is uh, pretty much the same thing, except for it's going to take netherite, right? So let's drop off that. Go ahead and grab 36 of them. Grab ourselves the centrifuge as well, except for it needs a couple of the actual netherite blocks. It's nice, too, getting the netherite like this because we don't have to process it through the uh, mechanism machine anymore. So it kind of bypasses that. Anyway, that's good there. And uh, this thing's pretty much ready to be set up. So let's go ahead and grab this. Let's do that. Actually, later today, too, we're going to go ahead and make our uh, angel ring. That's going to make it so we can fly uh, without having to ever repair this thing because I have almost lost it about three times. I'd rather not. Actually, what speed is this on, too? Let's leave it on normal. There you go. Cool. Let's go ahead and uh, set this up. And uh, I'm not sure exactly where the controller is going to go, but uh, I guess we'll figure it out here. Go ahead and do that. I'm going to guess somewhere in the middle. <laughs> anyway, we'll put it like right there. See if that works. And I guess, uh, can we fly? Wait, I turned that off. Let's go ahead and turn that back on. Sweet. Do this here. Sweet. And it's just uh, three by three by four. So not too big at all. And uh, I did misplace one block because I'm dirt. But uh, we can fix that relatively simply. Cool. And hopefully this is it. Let's see if it multi-blocked. Looks like it did. So there you go. Has the tank side like the other one. This one takes RF. Looks pretty basic. So let's go ahead and grab a uh, point right there. Cool. Go ahead and uh, pop this right there. Awesome. And go ahead and go to, I guess, power out, right? There you go. So I don't know how much this is going to take to run. I don't need uh, that. I don't think I really need that, but I'll do that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some combs real quick. I want to see if it processes the... The block ones faster than the regular ones, right? So is there an actual reason to do this? What would I like to actually process to? I guess it doesn't matter too much. Let's go ahead and do, let's do some redstone and let's do some steel. There you go. That's fine. Just need to do a quick test to see if the blocks are faster than the actual individual cones. Because if so, that's going to make this a lot more work. We're going to have to do some auto crafting probably. And I don't know which one to use. Actually, hopefully we got some kind of compactor or compressor because that would make it a lot easier. Uh, we're over here. <laughs> Let's head over there. There you go. Let's go ahead and, uh, I guess put, we'll just do it this way. Side by side. One, two, three. Oh, so the blocks are faster. So that's nine, right? So that's going through, it looks like about three and this time it goes through one. One, two, three. No, it's three. Yeah, so... Yeah, definitely going to want to have the blocks. I was kind of fearing that. So we're going to have to do some extra work here. We will have to pipe everything over here too, but we use ender chests, so that should be pretty simple. I'm just looking at what we could use to automatically compress these down. Because I know for crafters, we go to crafters, we definitely have the RF tools ones. This one could set up eight different recipes per. So for every eight different kinds of combs, we would need one crafter. That wouldn't be too horrible. And uh, we can make these pretty easy now. So we just go ahead and do that and that. And I guess I'd have to... Actually, I think I already have the casings, but either way. And do we have any compactors or anything, though? Compactors that just do... Actually, let's just... Uh, I don't know if I want to use these, but we can at least test it. Let's go ahead and grab you. Do compacting drawers work on the combs? Is that even a good way of doing it? You know what I mean? I think that'd work, but it'd be also really bulky. You know what I mean? So I don't know if I really want to do that. But uh, we could see... If it does work, there you go. Go ahead and check this out. Let's do head that. And it does work. So that's both an option. I think I might go with the uh, crafters, though. I think that might be a better idea. Also, I want to try other one other thing before I go ahead and do some crafting here. There was a honey generator, right? And there was a quest for this. So let's go ahead and see if it actually makes this machine kind of self-sustaining. Because that's actually what I'm interested with for this. So go ahead and grab you. Do that. Uh, what other, let's go grab some random combs again, just so I can get a little more honey in there. Go ahead and grab, uh, let's grab these. <laughs> I'm not going to be picky. There you go. And then hunt down our platform one more time and, uh, see a, how much this actually produces. I didn't see how much this used under load either. Let's do this for a second. Actually, actually, I think we'll have to do something like this, right? For that, this. Oh, I'm totally messing things up. Did I grab six different combs? Because I guess that makes things easier, right? There you go. That works. Let's see what it uses under load. Looks like about 180 FE. So 
As long as this produces more than 180 FE, should be fine. How much uh, do we have in there? 7.5 buckets in that short amount of time. So in, in theory, I guess, all we'd have to do is pump some um, stuff in here, right? So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can do that. I guess we need uh, some fluid pipe. We'll need one of those, I guess. And I don't know if I actually have any fluid pipe, so we'll find out here in a second. Fluid, looks like we got hole three. Let's go ahead and do that. Sweet. Go ahead and do this. There you go. Looks like it's getting honey. It's producing RF. It's getting filled up. And I don't know how much this produces, though. Like, can I loop this? <laughs> I guess this is what I've really tried to find out here. Uh, do we have an RF cable? Actually, this may auto output. I don't know. Let's uh, let's pump stuff in there again. See if it actually just kind of loops around. If this produces enough to run the whole machine, that'd be great, right? There you go. It's producing honey. It's doing its thing. Yeah, this is uh, looking. Is this going down or up? It's going up. It's actually getting a net game on the one machine. So that is actually really cool. So it's actually gaining power. We'll be able to pull power into the system and not actually use anything. It actually looks like it's only using... Oh, I need to get this off. You're feeding part of the power. That is the problem. <laughs> there we go. Is it still gaining though? It's still gaining. So whatever these produce, it looks like uh, is enough. Let's actually do this for a second. I want, I want to test this one more time. Let's go ahead and grab you. Go ahead and do this. We might actually be able to get a little bit of power of these because we are net gating honey as well. That is actually kind of funny. Uh, what else could we grab here to test this? I guess a, a plug, right? So let's go to here. Let's grab a plug and just pull in the system. Then we'll actually know what it's producing, I guess, which would have been the smartest way to do this, right? This, uh, go to power. Sweet. And is that actually producing? Oh, it's not being pulled in the system, though. Um, how would I test this easier? I think our battery is full is the problem. Might have to wait until it's under load, but it looks like it's not gaining either way. It looks like it's not gaining. So we'll go ahead and, uh, I guess, pull the power to there too. So I'm going to go ahead and craft some things up here. We need some crafters. We need some more of these, right? Probably need a couple because it's not gaining the actual, um, actual uh, honey, right? So we'll have to deal with that. And then I guess we'll need uh, some other stuff. So let me grab everything and I'll be back in a few. So I got the grafters all crafted up. I have them going into an ender chest now on a single channel. I'll have these all in the same channel at some point, but these other ones are going to have to be filtered. Like there's a cow one in here. There's a cow bee. I can't uh, have that going into the centrifuge because that one actually produces milk. So that'll be going through like a regular centrifuge or something like that. I need that for leather. Uh, these guys over here, I don't know if I'm even going to be doing the bulk of them. Like I said, the thermal ones, I don't know if I actually need those combs may go through and uh, ditch most of them because they're going to produce mostly just items anyway. So they're like these bliss cubes that have really limited use, like not stuff I really need. You know what I mean? Stuff like that, like crafting ice and obsidian, which I can do other ways uh, anyway. So I'm not really too concerned about that. This one won't have to be filtered either, actually. I should probably just automatically pipe that one in. So maybe I'll do that real quick. Let's do you. Let's uh, do you. Let's make sure you're fast enough with uh, one of those, so that would be good. And uh, like I said, I'll have to filter that one, so we'll worry about that uh, later, I guess. Because <laughs> if I do it right now, it's gonna start pulling automatically, isn't it? I need to get those cow ones out of there, because I think that's the only problem one in there. If I look at them all, let's see here, cow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure cow is the only problem one. If I get a use on this one, you'll see it produces milk 100% of the time. <laughs> I don't wanna deal with that at all. That liquid will end up getting voided off, probably, because we don't need it. Looks like you also, I don't know how that works either, because I think they only have the one tank. I, I'm a little confused at how that works, I guess. I'll see how that works when I run it through one of those smaller, more slow centrifuges. I only need that for leather, like I said, anyway. But anyway, that's that. So we're going to run over here. I have to start the process of setting up recipes, right? So I also found out these things are only producing 100 RF each. I had that totally wrong. And the main issue is going to be, I guess, when we're running the full blocks in here, making sure we have enough generators to keep up the honey buffer. Because so I think if this gets full, the thing stops, right? So I have four right now, and that was working, I guess that was handling the load under this regular small combs. I may need more than four later, uh, but uh, for right now, just have them all going into the four generators, one going into a battery, and this is plugged, so it can plug into the system, but uh, it should feed the system first when they're producing power. I may have to put a point on the machine as well, but uh, for right now, this works. And uh, I guess I have to set up recipes, right? So I'll go ahead and uh, I guess throw a crafter. Definitely not like that. That is not how I want it. 
Go ahead, go up here. Uh, we need our thing on again. I just had to go and repair this thing yet again. Go ahead and do that. Sweet. Go ahead and put a crafter here. Oh man, why 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 are you being that guy? Why are you being that guy? Run there. One here. That's good. And I guess we don't need that high one at all. So let's get that one out of there. Sweet and sweet. Cool. Now, before I hook up anything, right? So I'll end up having all the items come out of this ender chest, right? And then go into those crafters. They're going to all have to be filtered each, right? So each one of them is going to only be able to handle eight recipes, right? So you can see there, there's like the eight recipes. But I need to tell it what it can do first off, right? So I'd go in here, go ahead and grab the diamond, tell it the recipe. I think I got to pick a channel first. Yeah, we'll do that. Then we go ahead and tell it the recipe. Something like that right there. Awesome. Tell it to apply that, right? So that's fine. But you also need to tell it to, like you put a stack of the items in there, then you hit remember. Then it'll tell it that's the only thing they're able to go into that particular slot. That slot is saved for diamond honeycombs. That way it can always fit in more combs. So you want at least one slot set up to just like one item. You know what I mean? The rest of them don't matter that much. But I'm also going to have to filter the inputs to make sure it doesn't pull in all these other ones that I'm not going to be doing with this, right? So basically, I'm going to be going through here, going to like the uranium, doing the same thing. I'm going to do this all by myself in a second, but I need to do this pretty much for every recipe, right? So just go through, get them all set, kind of like so. Uh, apply it. Sweet. Make sure we got a stack in there. And then click remember, right? So just like that. Then I guess the last thing I'd probably have to do is like this, right? So let's go ahead and get rid of you. Go ahead and get rid of that. And then, like I said, I'll have a filter on that. So if I start pulling things out of there right now, that's going to totally derp everything. Uh, it's going to derp for a second. I'll have to fix it. So let's actually do this right here, right? Awesome. Oh, actually, I don't know how I'm going to fix this. Oh, I just ran into a new problem. I may have to do this the other way with the wall. Because so I need the filter on this end, not this end. I guess I could do this. Actually, now that I'm thinking of this, let's actually do this. Let's do that. Let's get that out of there. Uh, it's pulling in uranium, right? Which is fine and dandy, but it's not what I want. I guess I'd have to set up multiple slots to each thing, right? And then we should be fine, right? Oh, no, you need an output slot? No, you don't need an output slot. We're good. We're good. We Gucci. Let's do something like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. This will work. Let's go ahead and uh, pull this here. I'll have to switch this as I do more things, but I'll have to make sure all the slots are eaten, all the input slots are eaten by the things that we actually want in here, right? Let's actually do this to tell to forget for a second. Sweet, do something like that. Awesome. Then I do this right here. Cool. Then I click remember. Should be the only things that can go in there right now, right? So let's do that. I was thinking I had to do like internal crafting. If you do multiple stage, you have to have some open slots, but I guess we don't have to. But it should be able to just pull in those two now, right? So it's just gonna pull in those two. You don't have to worry about that. Let's actually speed that up for a second. That's cool. And if I ran this under a power load now, let's go to a flux point, right? Let's go to right here. Let's just do this one by itself, I guess. Let's do power. And that should be fine, right? And then everything goes to the output, and then I can pump that into the machine. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set all these filters for all three of these machines, get them all filtered up and uh, ready to go, and uh, hitting this remember slot a lot. So I think I got the first one set up. So basically I put like three slots for six of the items, the last two, I would give four slots. That way, uh, the, all the slots are filled up. Also, you want to make sure you don't remember when there's items that are here. Otherwise, it won't know, uh, won't have a place to put the items when they're done because it'll remember what's in these slots as well. So you don't want to have anything in there. So that should be pretty good. I think that's good. Uh, I do have it kind of powered from down here, right? So that's good. But we need to go ahead, I guess, and uh, I guess that's working. I already have an item pull out there too. So basically all I should have to do now to get this going is uh, turn on the redstone. And there you go. Just pulled everything, kept all the ghosts there that we need, uh, except for iron. Why isn't it pulling the iron? Let's see here. Oh, I didn't click apply yet. Apply? Here you go. Awesome. So yeah, it's working now. So I should be able to, I guess in theory, if I went ahead and hunted down that uh, ender chest that we had before, right? Go ahead and grab it, right? This guy right here. And I'll have to move the items into these, I guess, from somewhere around here. It's going to look a little weird, but it doesn't matter as long as it works, right? Let's go here, here, here. Go ahead. Let's actually break these connections for right now, I guess. We don't really want them right now. That's good. And I guess we don't need this connection here right now either. There you go. Move the pull from there. And then the items should start going in there. 
There you go. And I just need that faster. So yeah, that'll work. This will totally work. I'll have to set up the other two. But uh, yeah, a little derpy, but uh, definitely, definitely does the job and uh, we'll get things done. Also, it does that. You notice that? I tried to craft one of those uh, gold ones, so right here. And look at the output. Yeah, it totally rips you off. You have to watch that really close when you're doing these because it tries to totally just scam you sometimes. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and speed that up a little bit. There you go. And that should at least clear those ones out of this. And uh, yeah, that should work pretty good. And that's just going to go insane. Look at that. I need to go set up drawers for every one of these items as well, as well as set up the other two crafters. But after that, this thing should be caught up, which is pretty awesome. And these should be all producing power and stuff too, right? Even though it's all backed up. But anyway, it's definitely doing better. And uh, yeah, definitely pretty awesome here. Yeah, this is good. This will work. So I think most of the filtering for right now is actually done. I do need to go ahead and uh, get rid of this honey though. So let's do this and this one. There you go. This was uh, honey from the old setup. And uh, we can pump it through the new setup because uh, you can see here I have a big giant honey tower because I ended up needing it. But anyway, it is what it is. Let's go up this way and then hook up some honey. Then I can hook that back up and drain that out, I guess. Uh, it would be on this one, I suppose. Let's do that. I guess it doesn't matter too much. Let's just do that. Awesome. And I'll do this one as well. I mean, it's all free power at this point, so I might as well grab it. That looks good. Awesome. And cool. So that should go through all that honey. Plus we have honey in here, right? This honey was uh, getting backed up, so I just kept adding honey generators until uh, it started going down. So I'll end up moving these, but uh, I'm just dealing with a problem, right? But in here, you can see everything's getting pretty much caught up at this point. Uh, apparently I don't have a space for gunpowder. I'll have to fix that in a second, but that's not a big deal. Also, I didn't filter the cow yet, but uh, that is fine. But if you look in here, these things are pretty much all cut up now for the most part. Just uh, little bits of odds and ends of stuff I need to fix up. But uh, once they're fixed up, they're fixed up, right? So this one here, this one I didn't fill. I guess I feel I got a filter on this one. This one is only pulling in the cool, the blaze, the envir. I'm probably going to store some of those uh, thermal ones and kind of ditch the rest because I don't think I need all those. But these ones over here should be empty. This one should be empty as well, I believe. That's good. And uh, this one's empty. So they're actually all cut up, except for cow. I thought I had the cow on. Oh, I put the wrong one on lock. I need a cow in lock, man. I need to get a cow. Mr. Cow, please come in here so I can lock you up. There you go. Where's he at? Uh, cow, right there. Yeah, lock him. There you go. Don't think he can go anywhere anymore. And I'll be able to uh, unload him, I guess, and uh, put him somewhere else anyway. Um, or uh, not put him somewhere else. Put someone else in there. Anyway, so that'll work out. So I think the system is actually working pretty well. It's a little derpy how I ended up having to do it. I guess I should show it a little closer, right? So I have the crafters on the ground, right? And then I have them being pulled into the bottom of the actual set of fuge down here. And I'm powering them down there as well. And then I have the items coming through the top of them, right? So they're coming in here through the ender chest. And then they just like, once it uh, exports, I guess, goes into the machine, right? Then I have the power coming down here, going to the battery. The system can use this battery as a, uh, I guess, a battery for the whole system. That is like a main line. As well as uh, I'm still powering the back of the machine too, just in case it ever runs out. So a little bit of a power loop, but definitely works. And uh, it's getting it done. And this way the machine should never turn off uh, at all whatsoever, I'm hoping. If we got enough honey generators. And I'll just move these honey generators and probably uh, ender tank them somewhere, right? So definitely, definitely a thing. So I guess the next thing we'll do here is go ahead and grab some more flight potions. We actually need another five sets just like that. There you go. And with these, we'll be able to actually get ourselves a um, couple more flight charms with which we can get an angel ring, which will be uh, infinite flight. So that is actually pretty good. Is it in there yet? Nope. They just grabbed the money. I think it only costs us like 20 bucks for that too. I I'm finding uh, no good reason to spend money in this pack anymore. So I don't know what to spend it on. I've been buying some of the, uh, I guess, trinkets and stuff. But uh, even that, it yeah, doesn't matter too much, I suppose. Go ahead and grab them. There you go. Go ahead and grab ourselves a diamond ring. There you go. We'll need that. Then we're going to need these uh, armored jetpacks. I think I'm grinding down the diamond dust right now. So let's go grab that. Now it's good. And sweet. And then I guess we just go ahead and actually make the play charms. We'll just need some actual blaze powder. Kind of like so. Go ahead and uh, drop this stuff off. There you go. Go ahead and grab three more. 
And uh, yeah, we just need, need uh, the uh, armored jetpacks, right? So what do we actually need for those? Those are just blocks of steel, diamond, and a jetpack, and this. So there's a couple stages here. So let's actually go see if we actually got our diamond, though. Go ahead and uh, hunt that down. We could probably speed up all these machines really easy soon, too. The thermal ones, we haven't done that yet. Have to do that at some point. The upgrades, uh, they've changed. I just, uh, I haven't made them since they've been uh, 116, right? <laughs> anyway, two, three, and four of them. I think they get metadata, too, as soon as you make them, unfortunately. Let's go ahead, I guess, let's go ahead and pin that, too. Sweet. And uh, what is this thing? This thing just needs basic circuits. So, actually, we just go ahead and grab them. Super simple. So, let's do that. And here we're going to need some steel. Let's go ahead and hunt that down. We should have a good amount of that now with our new honeycomb. So let's go ahead and make like a stack. And that looks good. And uh, is that actually everything? That uh, looks like an armored jetpack, right? Armored jetpack. <laughs> go. Wait, that's a jetpack. That's an armored jetpack. What do I need? Uh, let's go to use on that. That right there. Yeah, it's this here. Let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and grab you. The recipes look so close the same. I didn't know what I was grabbing there for a second. Go yep. and uh, that one. There you go. So that should be everything, I think. So if we actually go here now, we'll take this one. We'll take it if it's repaired. I hope so. <laughs> Let's do that. Awesome. Let's head downstairs. See if we get this puppet repaired. And see if we get the uh, infinite creative flight, because uh, that would be fantastic, right? If not, I'm going to have to buy one more set of those things. It doesn't like that one. It doesn't like it. Why not? What, what's the metadata on this one that's different than the rest? There you are. Yeah, it really doesn't like that one. <laughs> okay, I guess I gotta make one more. So we'll go ahead and grab. Uh, how many do we have here? I need to see how many flight potions we actually have. Uh, flight? We don't have any right now. Okay, I guess we'll make uh, two more orders of that. There you go. And uh, hopefully it takes this one, because <laughs> otherwise it could be bitter. Anyway, let's go check that out. Oh, I had two in here. Oh, well, too, too, too late to kind of do that. Well, the only, we only need one more flight potion, I suppose, but I guess uh, we'll live either way. Also, these are just clogging up my inventory, so let's get rid of you. Awesome. And uh, we also went, out, went from having almost no diamonds to like 1,200. <laughs> and they're just going to keep racking up now. It's actually hilarious how easy uh, this is all getting for us, uh, material-wise, because we were completely broke. Anyway. That's cool, and uh, it won't be anymore, or we won't be anymore, I should say. Let's go ahead and uh, pop one of them there. That's cool. That should be a good one. Are you going to be a good one? Yeah, I like this one. So there you go. We got our angel ring now. That is awesome, and uh, apparently that was a quest, too. I didn't even realize that. So I guess we go ahead and grab some quests here. Sweet. Got a bunch of eggs as well. Got ourselves a granite bee, nether quartz, diorite, electrum. Oh, that's a good one, actually. I'll take that puppy. Osmium. I'll take any alloy. The moist bee is really weird. It's not very useful. It can do, like, there's, um, what are they called there? Mutations or something like that. If I go to, I guess, moist. Check that out. Go over here. Check that. Go to block transformation. So it does, like, block transformations. A lot of them will do this, right? This guy doesn't have, like, normal production. He doesn't make a comb. But he can turn terracotta into clay. <laughs> like, he's a, he's a little strange one. He doesn't really have much use for us, right? So I don't know what the purpose of him is, but uh, we'll just uh, get rid of him. Anyway, let's hit here. Where can this go? Ring. Oh, there's an angel ring slot. <laughs> is that a thing? Where is it at? Where is it? Is it down here? Maybe it's up here. I have no idea where the angel ring slot is. That might be it there. Anyway, we should have regular creative flight now at a pretty good speed, right? This one's not, I, I think this is pretty much just run speed, right? So this one isn't wonderful, but at the same time, it's much better than we had previously, which is uh, pretty awesome. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab uh, a bee jar. Do we have one of those? I'd like to get Electrum going right away, actually, because I have room for one of those crafters to get something going right away. And uh, might as well be this one. Let's go ahead and do that. Sweet. And uh, whichever one the cow was in, which was, I think, here, right? We should have an open slot here. So go ahead and uh, import him. And then we'll end up with the combs. And I'll have to put the combs to the crafter. And then all that jazz, but that'll be one more alloy that I don't have to worry about anymore. So that is actually really awesome and uh, really cool. Look at us, man. Get uh, all the stuff. But like I said, I don't even know what to buy anymore. Like I look in the book, I kind of look at things like that looks good. Let's just, let's just buy that. <laughs> That's effectively what I've been doing, right? Because I really don't have anything to spend money on anymore. 
and none of the eggs that I want seem to come up here, right? So the ones that are actually alloys, they're the ones I only really care about. So I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap this one up here. So as always, you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. We guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.